Great sense in the mighty name of Jesus and bless and need to one and all. So this video is about basically a bad experience I had with someone who is an elder in the church, right? So I go to the story, then I will say what I did, etc. and give some other information. So basically, a couple of years ago, I can give the year, but I choose not to, right? Um, I was speaking to someone. It was like, I think it was December of that particular year. It was close to Christmas, right? And the person was like, um, so what do you do for Christmas? I was like, um, I don't celebrate Christmas no longer. Um, so the person was like, okay, you don't celebrate Christmas any longer. That kind of thing. I was like, yeah, whatever. I would see it then. And then someone in that particular person's background, overheard me and this person happens to be an elder and a minister in the church so this person just started saying so she don't celebrate christmas we don't celebrate christmas and this and that the other and i love my christmas and you know and they were speaking in such a way like to just uh I should I say get to me so I was wondering what is this about this person towards me it's like this person probably don't like my head because i only met this person one time physically before that particular um thing took place so i was really kind of confused i was not expecting it right but you know um if i was a person in my flesh i don't know what i would have done but i know for sure if that happened to me probably like 10 years before that particular period that person would have gotten a fleshly response right but through the grace of god and these things you know I did not tell the person after whatever, but I really started to look at the person different. I decided to um, basically pray for this person. I prayed for this person for months. The Bible tells us in Matthew 5, 11, 12 that, you know, when you, when you are persecuted, you need to rejoice and you need to pray for them, right? And the sad thing is about it. Don't think that persecution as a believer in Christ comes just from the world. And it also have people in the church who will persecute other believers in the church. All right. So I I had to pray for this person. I had to pray for myself to forgive this person. I had to, you know, to help me because, you know, when you don't pray, like what happened to me in 2012, be when I, before I actually surrendered my life entirely to christ i was wishing i waiting for that person to die that was a different story right i will give that story again sometime in the future but the thing is that in addition to that right i was not expecting this because this person is not someone who is in the pews the person's an active member of the church but then we had to come to realization and this is the thing that i try to remember is that the bible speaks about in matthew 24 5 and Matthew 13 about the wheat and tear, right? We'll grow together. It also speaks about the sheep and the goats. So not everybody, especially in the church, not everybody is serious with God basically. Right? I don't know with regards to this person because this person could eventually change, hopefully, but only God knows if this person is a sheep or a goat right um what did i what did the person do well of course i'm a person as believers in christ we still live a different life from the people of the world itself right so i would expect like sometime in the future i might come and apologize no apology no confession you know yes we have to confess to god for our wrongdoings and these things but we serve so also once we do something to a person we serve to directly confess to that person that's another thing some believers don't do because they're not they're not humble they're not even seeking god to be humble and they're full of pride and the thing they're gonna make it to heaven with that kind of attitude no 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 you have to sort out yourself with god but you know what's the thing about it a couple of years after that incident this individual um decided that they no longer celebrating christmas i was like look at how things happen but i don't want to be both in people and tell people all kind of thing you know but um the thing about it i've heard also people spoke about different bad experiences worse than what i have encountered happen them to them in church you see if you're focused on man when man fall i'll be a preacher your pastor whoever that you look up to if you're a gospel minister you will end up falling but when even though you have a minister that is basically shepherd in the church for on behalf of god but you focus on god even though it may affect you you are not going to fall once you keep your focus on god that's what happened to me through the grace of god i did not cause that to change me basically or to 
Till from God, you'll be blessed in Jesus' name.